One of my favorite things to do is to save money with doing very little work. And if you've ever owned a car, you've probably taken it in for service and been told by your service advisor that you need to replace your cabin air filter, or sometimes it's called the AC or pollen filter. When I take my car in, they often recommend it at the very bottom. You'll see that right here. But I never have them do it because you can save a lot of money doing it yourself. And it's actually really easy. I'm going to show you how right now it only takes a few minutes of your time. So check this out. All right, so the first thing to do is go right over to your glove box on your passenger side. Make sure you clear it all out. Open it up. Oftentimes you'll see there's a hanger right down here at the bottom that you just push and that will unclip so that there's nothing holding it in place. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze this together. It's just plastic and up top we wanna squeeze it and it's gonna fold right down. And it's gonna show you the location of your air filter, which is right here behind this black cover. So all we need to do now is pop out this black cover. There's two tabs, one on either side. We're gonna push them in, take the cover out. You see that there's the tabs and that reveals our cabin air filter. Surprise, not super secret after all, huh? Since this one's old, you can really just pull on a little bit. It's probably in there a little snug because it's been sitting in there for a time. But as you pull, it'll come out. And just like that, you have pulled out your cabin air filter. Now you can go right on Amazon and you can type in the your make and model of your vehicle to get the exact replacement that you need. The other option, if you want to get it same day, you could go to Advanced Auto Parts, um, place like that, AutoZone. They would also carry these typically for your make and model vehicle. But once you get it, all you have to do is pop it back in the slot, close everything back up, and you're ready to go. So let me show you how to put it back together. You can put the new one in. You just slide it right in that hole. It should go in pretty snug, so it's going to take you a little bit to push it in. But once it's in, that's done. Take that black cover we had before. You're gonna put it right on the edge. Those two little tabs will snap in place. And then you're going to fold your glove box back up. Just give it a little hit, nice and strong. You're gonna come back here, pull this down, clip it back in place, and you have just replaced your cabin air filter. Not sure that it gets much easier than that. So just remember next time when your service advisor recommends that you replace your cabin air filter, thank them for letting you know, and then go on home, go buy your air filter and you can replace it yourself and save yourself 30 or $40 worth of labor. If this was helpful, do me a favor and like the video, subscribe to my page, and that way you'll be the first to know when I post new videos.